Welcome everyone in the kitchen with Barb from Inside Out. Today is heart month and that's the hint of red that I have on to the hint of using our heart hemp hearts during our um, recipe as well as my medallion here which is a flower of life close to the heart protecting my heart. So we're going to be making a beautiful cauliflower soup today using some yummy ingredients. We've got our coconut milk that we're going to be using. We have some beautiful ginger that we're going to be grinding up. Ginger is great for inflammation, arthritis. It's also good for digestion. We have some garlic here. Garlic is also good for fighting, um, keeping the immune system strong, fighting any infections. And also onions do that as well too. So I've already sort of um, peeled some uh, ginger and garlic and I'll be grinding those up to put in our recipe. We've got some cauliflower because we're using cauliflower. So I've got, uh, what do I have here? Six cups of cauliflower that we're going to be putting over in our pot. We also have, I've got some onions already chopped up as well. So we're going to be using two cups of onions here. We already have, this is our homemade uh, veggie broth that we've uh, taken um, leftover scraps from vegetables. Instead of throwing them in your compost, you can actually, if you don't have time to use it right away, you can um, put it in your freezer. And then when you do have time to use it, put it in some water, boil it down. And this is how you get your homemade um, veggie broth. You can also use um, bone broth as well too, but we're using veggies. And then we're going to be adding some nutritional yeast for a little bit of a thickener and also some flavoring as well too. And then we also have a little bit of salt that we'll be adding to our soup as well. And um, I think that will be it. So we're going to come over to the stove and add our broth to the pot our cauliflower, our onions, and we're going to put all of the ingredients together. We're going to bring it to a boil and then down to a simmer till our cauliflower is all soft. And then we'll take that and put it in the blender to blend it all up. Now it's my favorite moment, sharing a riddle. What has hearts and no other organs? Hints to the red, February month, and also my medallion that I wear flower of life close to my heart leave your answer down below well we're going to chop up some more onion to add to our soup so we're going to add be adding two cups of onions to our soup so we're just going to chop this one up here we've already chopped up one so this will be our second one that we'll be chopping up And we'll add that to our soup and bring it all to a boil. And then we're going to take our ginger and garlic and we're going to grind with our little grinder some ginger that will be added to our soup as well. I love the fresh smell of ginger. So again, ginger is great for inflammation, arthritis, digestion. That should be good. And then we're going to also add a clove of garlic. So we're just going to chop the garlic up. Little pieces. And that add to some flavor. Also great for building up our immune system, fighting any infections the garlic is. And uh, we'll take that all over to our pot. So bringing our broth over to our pot. Adding that into our mix. So we're gonna add a little bit of salt to our pot here of uh, vegetable broth. And then we're gonna take our cauliflower and add that to the broth. And our two cups of onions that we chopped up, adding that. Our little bit of ginger and adding that. 
and then the rest of our mix here that we'll be adding as well. Onions and garlic. So we're going to bring all of this down to a boil and uh, once the cauliflower has softened we will be putting it in the blender and blending it all up. So let's take a peek, see how it's coming along. Oh, it's getting softer, probably about maybe five or more, five to 10 minutes more. Yum, yum, yum. It looks like it's ready to go. So I'm going to scoop it with my cup and add it over here to our blender. And we're going to blend it in parts. So add a little bit of broth to it to give it some substance. And then we'll blend it up slowly. Benefits to coconut milk, adding to the soup is great for inflammation also healthy heart so good fats for the heart helps lower the cholesterol and hair and nails which is really good so another great benefit to coconut milk look at that lovely I have some cayenne pepper that I like to put on top of my soup to add some extra heat. Great for circulation on these cold winter days. But if you like, you can also add some nutmeg. My choice is cayenne pepper for the heat. Another great additive to your soup. Also, salt and pepper. That's good. And it does have a little bit of a kick to it. Enjoy. From our last recipe, our riddle was, why did the avocado cross the road? You ask, why? Well, because it wanted to get smashed. Smash, you say? Yes, avocado, smash, no? Guacamole, smash, avocado? So stay tuned and leave your answer down below for this one. Um, favorite part, Ray, coming down. Three, two, anytime. My favorite part is my riddles. So hint the red for heart month is what is your favorite hearts and no other organs no. <laughs> your answer and we will see what you put yikes ah! <laughs> <laughs> what is it <laughs>